Hi, I'm Greg Hendricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create odd shape controller limits. So in Maya, if you go under the transform node in the attribute editor, you'll see limit information section, and you're able to limit the translate information in a rectangular kind of box. But what if you have a situation like this, where I don't want the animator to have to worry about the gun poking through the wall. So to set this up, is very easy to do and let me show you how. Let me go ahead and delete all this stuff and temporarily hide the shell and select the gun go to display transform display local rotation axis and I wanted to create a locator for the control. I'm going to scale the locator up. It seems pretty big and snap the locator right in the middle of this gun. I'm going to pull it out in Z. I'm going to turn off the local rotation axis. Show the shell again. And I'm going to change this locator's color to white. That way you guys can see it easier. Alright. I'm going to name this gun underscore CTL for control and now I'm going to to zero out the the translates and rotates and scale and all that for the control I'm going to duplicate it by hitting control D hitting the down arrow key to select the shape node and deleting it now I have this empty transform node and I'm going to parent the control under that node and name this gun control underscore null and that will zero out, the, zero out the transform information for us. So now I'm going to select the control, shift select the gun, and I want to create a an aim constraint. So go to animation menu set, constraint, aim. I'm going to reset the settings and the gun is oriented to the world so I want it to point down the positive Z which is pointing at the control and I want the up vector to be positive Y. So let's change this from 1 and X to positive 1 and Z and leave the up vector the way it is and click add. I'm going to select control and hide everything except control uh, translate X and Y. So just right click and hold go to lock high and selected. So now got we got this working. and to create the the NURBS curve that shows the animator the boundary that they can go to with control I'm going to ed go to edge mode double click on the edges to select the edge loop and go to the surfaces menu set and go to edit curves duplicate surface curves now I'm going to pull these out in Z it doesn't matter what technique you use to create this as long as you have one continuous curve so I could have just easily took the curve tool and vertex snapped each one of these. But I decided to do it this way. So I'm going to select two of the curves that are next to each other. I go to edit curves, attach curves, and reset it. And make sure keep originals is unchecked. And click attach. I'm just going to shift select the next one, hit G to repeat last command and do that for the whole thing. Now to delete history, I'm going to alt, hold Alt and Shift and hit the D key, and that's the shortcut for delete history. I'm going to go to Modify and Center its Pivot. I'm going to select the Z axis to highlight it. Hold V and middle click on the locator. That way I snap it right onto the middle of the control. And I'm going to go to Modify, Freeze Transformations. And I'm going to name this control limit underscore CRV for curve. Now I'm going to take this curve and go to surfaces loft or not sorry not loft planar go to option menu reset that and I'm going to choose polygons and tessellation method general which
which is fine for this and click OK and I'll have a PC geometry that's in the same shape as my boundary. So I'm going to go to modify, center pivot, hold alt shift hit D to uh, delete history and name this control limit underscore geo. Now I'm going to select the geometry, shift select my control, and go to animation menu set, constraint, geometry constraint. And now I'm going to hide the geometry. Oops, control H, hide. And I'm going to take the curve and the geo and group those and name that control limit underscore GRP for group and let's test out what we have so far so we had this working now but as you see the the gun is nowhere near the edge of the wall when you're all the way to the right here so to fix that I was going to take the control limit group that has my curve and geometry in it and I'm going to first select it and go to Modif uh, modify center pivot and I'm going to scale scale the group up. Now test it out and let's scale it up a little bit more. Alright, so we got that working. But the animator can still select this curve. So just select the curve, hit control A, and I'm going to go to the transform node and go to display drawing overrides, enable overrides, and change the display type from normal to reference. Now the animator can't select that. So now you have control in a custom shape boundary. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.